Is it a little going into this year having the ability to work with players and groups over the summer? Do you, do you feel like that's going to just almost right away put you way ahead of where you've been in past years? Yeah, it, it was great to work with the players this summer. Um, you know, but everybody in the country had to work with their players this summer. But I, you know, I think it helped our players. You know, we were able to see where they were at and make sure that they're at least getting in the gym those two hours during the week. And uh, so I think it was a big advantage, and I think it helped the players. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, the big questions: Asia and Jess. How are they coming along? How are they looking? Uh, good. I, I mean, uh, Asia. You know, is going through contact right now. Jess has been released, but I really haven't let her so far, and I'll let her go a little bit today. Because Jess just, Jess just goes, you know, 110 miles an hour, and I really don't need her to do that right now. But I'll let her go a little bit live today, and, and, and we'll keep her, you know, moving along. But you're happy with where they are. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They rehab great. Uh, they're both uh, each leg's about the same strength, and uh, they, they've done a great job rehabbing. And Allie, our trainer, has done a good job getting them ready back on the floor. And how about Lene? I know it's been a few years since she's played since that injury in high school. Yeah. Is she ready to get on? She the looks floor a lot better. I think uh, you know this summer was big for her, and she did a good job this summer. And you know, I, I think uh, she's moving better up and down the floor. So you know, this is our first day though going two and a half, three hours. We'll see how she's moving uh, today. But I, I think she's uh, she's come a long way, and I think, you know, she's going to be a good player for us. I mean, pretty athletic, six foot five. Yeah, she's got great hands, can score inside, uh, block shots. Uh, you know, we we just got to get her going up and down the floor, get used to running again. And again, like you said, she hadn't played for two years. So, you know, she's got to get back into – you know, game situations, those type of things. You have so many players back, obviously that's a tremendous advantage, but how much is it on each individual player to get individually better to, you know, to, to help the team? Well, that's the thing. I kept telling them all summer, if you get better, we get better. And, and that's what's important. And, uh, you know, majority of our girls did a great job, worked hard this summer. We always heard them in here in the gym, you know, when they didn't have to be. And, and it'll pay off for them this year. And, uh, you know, I think everybody's stronger. Everybody worked hard during the summer, and uh, you know, we're excited. We're, we're ready to go, and uh, you know, we got a tough schedule in the beginning. Our first five games are, 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 is a tough schedule. Probably the toughest first five games I've had since I've been here. But we did that for a reason because we had a lot of players back. We've had a lot of upperclassmen on this team that have been here in the past. Been a lot of talk about the goals of winning the conference title, making a deep NCAA run, and yeah. now it's starting to set in. This is this is their last year. They're going to do it. Yeah, absolutely. It, and our schedule is pretty tough, and I did that for a reason. Uh, you know, you got to win. And the bottom line is, you can play whoever you want to play, but you got to win something in games. And, and, and then you hope to get, if you're fortunate enough to get the NCAA, you got to hope to get a, a, a higher seed and not be on somebody's home floor. So, you know, if we take care of business during the season, then we'll have an opportunity at the end of the season. Looks like the, the Big 12 helped you out some with your travel this year. Things are going to be yeah, they a little did. better than we well, got year. like uh, on two trips, you know, don't have to come back, we'll play four games. The, the, the negative of that is I think one game we play like on, on uh, Friday and then we play again Sunday. So we only have one day prep, one day rest. So, you know, but that's how you got to do it if you're going to make those type of trips. But, it, you know, we'll get in two trips, we'll be able to get uh, rid of four away games. Out two, of the of nine. Yeah. two of the Christmas parade. Right. right. Two of the and then two of them, yeah, two of the games is over we're not in school. So that helps also. Who are some of the new players uh, that caught your eye and some workouts? And... Well, I tell you what, I think, uh, you know, coming in, I thought we had to get people healthy. You know, Asia and, and, and Jess. Uh, I wanted Linda, Stephanie, to really work on her shooting and work on being aggressive offensively. And that's something we've been working on all summer and something we'll continue to work on. We've got to have her scoring from the perimeter so her man's not helping in on uh, uh, you know, our post players. Uh, Crystal Caldwell's worked hard, Taylor Palmer, uh, Bria Holmes, 
looks really, really good, has really improved over the summer. So, you know, we're, we're excited. We think we, we think uh, we've got a lot of pieces. I'll be able to bring people in and out. I think we're pretty deep, uh, as deep as we ever been. So, you know, we'll be able to keep fresh people in there and do some other things. You went through the whole thing with defensively, with the fouls and so forth. That was an adjustment. To well, yeah, the now they're coming out with this new thing that uh, now the big push in the country is uh, they want to they want the referees to call closer and, and less contact and all that. So, you know, we had several games last year. We Other teams shot 47 foul shots. I don't know. We may set an NCAA record this year if they're going to call it any closer. So, I don't know. It's probably a good thing we're deep. I'll be honest with you, because that's the big push now in, throughout the country is, and we're even having a conference call on it uh, about how they're going to try to make uh, less physical and, 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 and call a lot more fouls, don't let you uh, touch people as much and that type of stuff. But how's that going to affect? Well, it'll affect you us, you know, we've been trying to tell them keep their hands off, but, you know, we play aggressive and we play up the lane and we get after defense. But for teams that sit in a zone, it's great for them. You know, it's great for them. For teams that get out or very aggressive defensive, it's going to be an adjustment.